Okay, now we want to go over a new feature that Range 2 has. Just like Morocco, Morocco has the single shot mode. Range 2 also has that right now. Really awesome feature, just like taking a, a shot with a camera. Instead of continuous frames, like before, you can switch it over to single shot and catch one frame at a time. So in the software, you can see here, right where it says next to the red cancel button, there's the start button. You can click that little arrow down. It's normally set to continuous, click it down, single shot, then you'll see the button now becomes a camera icon. So then you know you're in single shot mode. So something to keep in mind, do's and don'ts. And honestly, I prefer to take the handle off for single shot mode. It's totally up to you. I just feel it's a little more comfortable that way because you can use this button on the back here instead of taking every individual shot with the mouse, clicking the start button on the computer. I like to just push right here because then you can get more hands on. It's more comfortable. Kind of like how you would be doing it with the Morocco. So anyways, make sure you capture at least 50% of the previous frames point clouds. So for example, I capture the first frame. If I would turn it a quarter turn, notice what happens. Tracking loss, so no good. So let's cancel that one and start over. At least 50%, so just turn it a little bit. Make sure you're at a good distance. Good, and just turn it a little bit. and it's fine, no tracking loss. Just give it a little turn. And obviously something like this, maybe you wanna go a little up high to catch that. You can really catch all the corners easily, all the crevices with um, single shot. So just keeping that in mind, they say 50% of the previous frames point clouds, you know, that's definitely safe. You're not gonna have any tracking loss that way but probably can do 40, 35% as well. But just to be safe, 50% is good. Something to shoot for. So another do's and don'ts of range two that I wanna share with you guys. Again, just like scanning anything, you know, you wanna keep a, a steady hand. Don't be wobbling all over the place. Try to be pretty steady as you snap the shot. But this is important as well. Make sure if you're using auto exposure on both the depth camera and the RGB camera, give it some time to adjust. Cause I've noticed, you know, if you're too quick to snap between each shot, it doesn't adjust well. Actually it's capturing it pretty good right now, surprisingly. So the, that's encouraging. The software is improving, but it's a good rule of thumb to just give it a moment to let both the uh, RGB and the depth camera naturally adjust focus on the model before you go to the next frame. Okay, so let me delete that one. Another really cool feature, which we have on our other scanners as well, but something to keep in mind, if you're working in an area that maybe is a little confined, not too much space, ultimately it's nice to scan in a more open area, but for some reason, if you are more confined, and for example, if you have an object or something behind the item you're trying to scan, for instance, this head sculpture, notice this. So right now, when I try to scan it, I snap the shot, you got that sculpture coming in as well. So it's not the end of the world. You always can edit that out later, you know, by deleting it. But there's something, if you want to just avoid that hassle altogether, notice in the software it says scanning distance. So right now it's at 800, up to 900. If you move that down, looking at the, at the screen, disappeared at 666, 68. So that's pretty nifty. So even though it's directly behind the angel right now, it's not picking it up. I can go ahead and start scanning it as if I was working with a completely clean surface here. Really cool. 
So just something to keep in mind. If for run, some reason you're in a tight area again and you can't remove the things around you, great option, scanning distance, you can adjust that bar. So what it ultimately is doing, normally it'd be capturing something from this far past the image that you're trying to scan, you're moving that in a little bit. So it's only capturing up to right here, not seeing anything behind it. Really cool feature. Okay, so now I wanna actually give you guys an example. Let's use single shot mode and scan this whole object and see how it turns out. So applying everything we just learned, do's and the don'ts, keeping a pretty steady hand, make sure that you capture at least 50% of the previous frames, point clouds. And we'll get a, an awesome result if we do that. And again, letting the camera adjusts automatically in the depth camera and also the RGB camera. Not turning it too much. And because this um, model, this angel has some nooks and cranny crannies, for example, the wings underneath and above, maybe a couple of these move a little up, get the shot from above, come back down. That's one nice thing about not having the handle on here you can really get a good angle in these hard to reach areas without having the handle on and at any point if it says lost tracking no big deal, just like step like right there. I didn't lose tracking, but if I did, just go back a little bit of a turn and snap again. And it should be able to catch the previous point clouds. So it just reminded me that I wasn't staying steady. So it knows. Try to get underneath these wings a little bit. So right there, lost tracking, but if I caught it just by snapping a nice easy one after that. I want pretty much done the full 360 around the model, maybe I'll just get an upper angle of the upper shot. Make sure we capture some point clouds from up above so that the wings are fully filled in. Nice, so there we go. And again, something I didn't do, I actually didn't click base removal. I could have done that because as you can notice here, it's capturing some of the base. As for the point clouds, I'm not gonna process it right now. Did pretty good capturing everything with single shot mode. So there you have it. Those are the do's and don'ts with single shot mode. Hopefully that was helpful.